Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Elder Scrolls Online. The subject of today's tutorial will be alchemy. The first thing you'll need to do is to try and find ingredients for your potions. The first thing to do in order to try and find ingredients is to look around the world, mouse over plants and try and see if they are named. If they are named then these are harvestable as ingredients. If you are finding it very difficult to find ingredients, then there are things to help you. You can try putting points into a skill called Keen Eye. Keen Eye is pretty invaluable in aiding your search for ingredients throughout the world. What this skill does is it allows you to see plants and other ingredients from a set distance away by highlighting them with a sort of smoke and glowing effect. Now depending on how many points you've put into this skill, up to a maximum of three, you will be able to see them from further and further away with this effect surrounding them. One of the other things that you will require is water. To find water you can look in barrels and other containers throughout the world, you will quite often find a lot this way. However also when you're out exploring in the wilderness you can come across streams and rivers and other large bodies of water. In these bodies of water, if you find an area that is like a giant splash that is constantly occurring, if you go up to this and mouse over, it should be highlighted and named. These are places that you can harvest water from. And this is another way that you can collect water that you will require for your potions. Now that you have collected all your ingredients, you will need to find out what effects those ingredients have. There are a few different ways that this can be achieved. The first way that you can do this is to simply just eat one of each of the ingredients that you have. This will allow you to learn the initial effect for each of the ingredients. Each ingredient has up to four available effects that are learnable. Another thing that you can do is to try and blindly mix potions to see if you can produce a potion that has an effect. When you try and combine ingredients at random it will just say that this potion has an unknown effect, sometimes it will create a potion and other times it will not. If it does not create a potion then the combination you have chosen, the ingredients used do not have any effects in common, either known or unknown. If you do successfully create a potion, the effects that the two ingredients had in common will produce in a potion with that effect and you will also learn that effect for each of the ingredients that had that specific effect on it. In this example I tried to combine Blessed Thistle with Blue Entoloma. There was no potion produced as neither of these two ingredients share similar effects. When I then tried to combine Blue Entoloma with Columbine the resulting effect was a potion with a health restorative effect. The ingredients were then updated showing that both of these ingredients have an effect of health restore this is then visible when you then mouse over those individual ingredients within your bags. One also last thing to consider is that you should perhaps pick up all of the available alchemy skills that are available to you as and when they become available. This will ensure that at later levels you are able to produce the most potent and strongest potions possible as well as reducing any negative or harmful effects that they may also have, which can be the case if you are combining multiple ingredients. You may have no choice but to create a potion that also has a unwanted negative side effect. Um, by taking the necessary skills, this is reducible to minimize its harmfulness to your character or other characters which may be consuming your potions. For quick reference, you could also of course just use a cheat sheet or alchemy simulator to see what combinations your potions will create ahead of time and see what possible side effects they may contain. You can also simply just use the information so you know which ingredients it is that you will need to combine in order pr to produce a potion of whichever effect it is you are trying to achieve. That's all for now at this point. I would like to thank you all for watching and hopefully see you again in another video. Goodbye.